Now that we have power back, welcome back to some more Scrap Mechanic Survival. I'm Stormrunner Gaming, and today I am joined by Fallon yet again. And we have built two of the same exact cars here. And what we'll be doing today is doing some efficiency challenges. Not exactly challenges, but more scientific testing per se. With basically seeing how much fuel each of these are going to be consuming, or well, of course efficiency. And we've got eight different challenges here. Uh, tier 1 engine versus a tier 5 engine, which is what we already have set up here. We also have the speed differences of engines, which we will be switching around the two different engines. So we both have probably a tier 1 engine, and one will be on a slower speed, one will be on a higher speed. And then we're going to do that same challenge with a tier 5 engine on both of us with different speeds. We're going to be testing weights of a vehicle. If a higher weight does change your efficiency, probably as well as the amount of bearings connected to the engine. Of course, we're going to have to do a higher level engine with that test because the tier one over here, you know, you can only connect it to two bearings. Bearings? Bearings? I don't care. Anyway, we also have the gas engine versus electric engine, and we're going to be putting both of them at the same exact speed and seeing which one is more efficient between batteries and gas. We have the different wheel sizes, as well as it does sitting in the seat use fuel. If you are looking for a specific test in this video here, I'll be leaving the timestamps for all of the eight tests in that description down below. That being said, I would also like to put it out there that even though we tried our hardest, there is of course human error, game lag, all these other small different things that kind of skewed our testing a bit. Um, I'm just really trying to say that there's some human error involved, so sometimes some of these tests don't have really definitive answers, so we try to get the best we can out of it. But anyways, let's get to the testing. Alright, Fallon, are you ready for our first challenge here? Yes, I am. What about you? I'm ready as I'll ever be. So I'm set up with that Tier 5 engine, and Fallon has his Tier 1 engine. And we both filled them up with only one gallon of fuel to see who will go the furthest down the road here. Which is of course the person that has the most efficient car. And I'd like to note that since he has that tier 1 engine, we both only have rear wheel drive on our vehicle. And we've set it to, what is that, 4 marks above the bottom for yes. the power of the engine. Alright, ready to go here? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Alright, ready, set, go! Off to a yeah, blistering the main goal start. Of this is to test the efficiency for the most part between each upgrade to see if it's actually worth it to upgrade your engine. Yep. So. I it probably should be. I would hope that the tier five engine goes a little bit further I hope so. than your tier one over there. I mean, it seems like I'm almost a little bit faster than you somehow. That might just be server lag though. That might just be you. I'm catching up. Or Are staying. you? But I was on the outside, kind of. And that yeah, that's helped. true. You're on the outside there. I mean, we're making our way down the road pretty quickly here. Still got fuel in yours? As far as I know, I'm still driving. That's good to hear. Good to hear. I'm still motoring a lot. It still but seems might like... might be a uh, bit faster, but that's yeah. the server stuff. I'm out of fuel. You're out of fuel? I mean, yes. I'm still going. Okay, well, I guess we'll... I, I mean... See how far he makes it how far I make it. This might be like the trilogy of the one gallon of fuel. I'm already leagues ahead of you, past the packing station. Maybe we should start driving back. Wonder and then Oh, maybe, yeah, because we're going to start our next efficiency challenge back at yeah. the workshop there. We double hey, how's it going, buddy? You know what just happened to me? What? Uh, I didn't run out of fuel, I just wanted to stop and say hi to you. So the clear winner for our first efficiency challenge is that tier 5 engine, which isn't very surprising to us due to the fact that when you upgrade the engine, it tells you that that efficiency number is going to be increased. So it was interesting to find out though with the same exact car, the tier 1 engine versus the tier 5 engine, the tier 5 engine got about 3 times more distance versus that tier 1 engine. So our next challenge on the list here is the speed of engines for efficiency. So for this challenge we'll be doing well, two different tests, one with a tier 1 engine here and one with a tier 5 on both. And I've already taken off my tier 5 engine and of course Fallon over there already had his. So now we can just drop in one fuel here. 
So Fallon has set his at the top speed for the gas engine and I am at the lowest speed for the gas engine. We both have one fuel sitting in there now. So let's get in the seats and see who goes the furthest. Yes. Of course, you're going to be Ready? a little bit faster. Oh yeah, yeah, count it off. Three, two, one, go. Blistering start for myself. Yeah, I look Fallon... at Storm go, guys. Yeah. Uh, guys, I think I saw a turtle go by me there. <laughs> I'm so proud of him. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, you're going to run out of fuel around that hill, aren't you? Probably. At the top it, of the hill, I believe. I could possibly make it past there if a slower speed gives me better efficiency here. You can't make it up the hill. I can't make it up the hill, huh? Bad news today on the racetrack, or efficiency scientific testing track here. Slower speeds might give me better economical fuel efficiency, but I can't get up the hill. No, I just ran out of fuel here. Yeah, I turned I don't up think the, you made it that far. I turned up the gas engine by one and I just ran out. That's. I don't think you would have made it that far then. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have made it much further there. For the tier 1 engine, it seems like at the slowest speed, it just doesn't have enough power to tackle hills and stuff in survival to be efficient. So, of course, that higher power or higher speed at this point is more efficient here. So for this next challenge, we both have switched those tier 1 engines for tier 5 engines. And we'll be testing just basically what speed is more efficient for these vehicles. And Fallon's going to be doing a mid-range speed for his engine. I'm just going to be going pretty close to max here. And yet again, only putting one fuel into this engine here. And Fallon needs fuel as well, right? Nope. Oh, nope. you've already got it in there. All right. So you ready for this? Absolutely. All right. Ready, set, go! And with a blistering start, of course, I'm a little bit faster than him. But that might cut my efficiency in half. It is definitely a little bit more bouncy with this frame here. Though. I'm not even using full throttle. I can't even control it at full throttle. Hey, wait a minute. That was a shortcut. <laughs> I actually can't control the steering. You can't even control the steering with that? It is so you don't even bad. have it at full speed. Mine just hops around. I'm out of fuel. Oh, you're out of fuel. I just ran out when I flipped over. That's weird. So, for both engines, it almost seems like the faster speed is more efficient. Yeah. Would you say that's an accurate assumption? I, I mean, would say so. I, that's a weird assumption. Oh, there I am out of fuel as I flip over and turn. Oh, go back on your wheels. Nope, we didn't make it. So for this testing here, we were a little bit confused due to the fact that my car went the furthest on the higher speed, but when I turned my engine down to a mid-range to drive back to the workshop, I only put one fuel in it and I got back to the workshop, plus I did some donuts, drove around the workshop. It took me forever to run out of fuel, so it seems like maybe the slower speed's more efficient and something human error or Fallon crashing there kind of caused the test to be a little bit off. So I'm gonna go with brick blocks for heavy weight because our next test here is just to see what is more efficient, a lighter or heavier vehicle here. All right. Are you ready? We both got Absolutely. one fuel. Actually, let's make sure. What's your engine at, Paul? We're both at limited, at the limit. Limited. Yes. Mm-hmm, all right. That should be good. Both have one fuel. You want to count it off? Three, two, one, go. It's... Do you not have fuel? Put fuel in it. You can just keep going. I'll... All right. Fallon's going to keep going. Yep, so I had a late start, but it doesn't matter because we'll still go the same distance. It's just for some reason my vehicle is out of fuel. I've already ran out of fuel. I just ran out of fuel. So definitely a, a lighter vehicle is more efficient. Yeah, I was pretty sure on like that weight. testing. Yeah, more but, weight you know is going to make it less efficient. Our next scientific test here is between the amount of bearings connected to an engine versus efficiency. So for Fallon's vehicle over there, he has rear wheel drive. And for my vehicle, I have four wheel drive. And I'm just actually this is one of the more interested ones I was interested in, I guess. 
because I had my truck in two wheel drive versus four wheel drive and I never really knew which one was more efficient. So we both got a gallon of fuel here and we'll be sending it down the road yet again. You ready? Yes. Okay, ready, set, go. With that four wheel drive, almost a little bit faster than you. Almost, it's actually a little bit difficult to keep on the road here. Come on. Yeah, the speed's a bit, quite a bit. It's not horrible, but it's pretty manageable. It's a little bit bouncy. I ran out, out of fuel. fuel. Really? That's what interesting. Was... Fallon and I did this test again, and the similar result came up where the four-wheel drive vehicle beat out the two-wheel drive vehicle. This being said, my honest opinion on the efficiency of more or less bearings, it seems like, at least for a four-wheel drive vehicle, it'll probably depend on the vehicle and the speed of the engine to which the vehicle gets more efficiency if you have more or less bearings connected. This next test is the electric engine versus the gas engine. When we both have a tier 5 engine, either being electric or gas, and we're just going to see who gets further with one fuel unit, either the battery or the fuel. Alright, you ready? Yes, I am. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> we tried to match speeds a little bit here, so one, one of us wasn't completely faster than the other, but yeah. it wasn't... Did you just run out of fuel already? Oh, you just sped it up by one, okay. Yeah, my engine and I was one notch lower than you by accident. I'm actually kind of surprised with the electric. Well, I'm actually a little bit more surprised with the gas. Oh, out of battery. Oh, you are? Yep. Wow. So the gas is a little bit better. That's surprising. Well, of course, it's a tier 5 engine, but... Well, I have a tier 5 electric. Yeah. I'm just really surprised. I was... Oh, there, I'm out of fuel now. I was actually a little bit rooting for the electric because, yeah, sure. in my opinion, it's harder to get more of that fuel. So, I was I mean, thinking it would do better. My personal opinion, looking at it from how easy it is to get electricity versus gas, I personally would still use electricity. I mean, the gas did, yes, it did beat the electricity in distance, but realistically, by how much compared to how much electricity you can get before fuel. Yeah, they're pretty similar. I mean, what, 500 feet at most was the difference yeah. between the two engines? And I feel like fuel is probably going to be easy to get at the start of the game. Well, not easy, but less of a pain than going to a warehouse if you don't even have a spud gun. But in later game, I feel like it would be worth it to invest in electrical vehicles. So our next test here is the efficiency between different wheel sizes. And of course, this can vary between different vehicles per se, but I was just interested on an apples to apples comparison between well, two exactly the same vehicles here. If the larger ones or the smaller ones would be more efficient. You want to count it off? Absolutely. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Get set. Go. Oh, I started a little bit early. I am spit out of very shaky for some reason now. So for, a second... for me guys, looking from behind Storm, to me it looks like the smaller wheels look like they're harder to control. I'm not having any problems with drifting issues. Yeah. I'm out of fuel. What? I'm out of fuel. How are you... There's no way. I kind of want to redo that. Okay, let's redo it. I'm out of fuel though. I'm still going. Okay. I'm going to the next state over apparently, the next country. This is a tier 1 engine. How is it? I'm at the packing station. I've got one fuel in here. This is so much more efficient than those big wheels. That explains why the big wheels with the tier one engine ran out of fuel so quickly. Oh, I'm out why of fuel. Why? So it seems like it's a clean cut case of the smaller wheels being more efficient. Of course, if you do need to do any off-roading with large obstacles, you may need to get those large wheels for your vehicle. So the next test we have here is, does sitting in your seat actually use up some fuel? So Fallon over here is sitting in his seat, of course. It makes the engine sounds back here, if I could jump in here, but he's not going much of anywhere. 
And of course, my car is just sitting here, you know, without a driver in the seat. And we're going to give him, you know, maybe a minute more before we try and start this race here. Uh, all right. Ready, set, go. We're both yeah. off at about the same exact speed. Well, we've got it on the same speed engines here. And Falloon is actually leading just a little bit. Oh, you should ah. crash into me. <laughs> uh, we're pretty this neck and neck die. right now. I'm gonna have to go through the tree. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. There we go. I'm are you confused. Out? I'm out of I'm fuel out. now as well. Fallon and I did want to get a definite answer on does sitting in that seat actually use fuel from your engine because you get that idling sound and everything. So we did have Fallon sit in his seat for 10 minutes and we came back and did another race. And that's what you're seeing behind me right now. And by the end of it, we both did hit the same exact spot, kind of disproving the myth there, basically. So no, you don't actually use any fuel while sitting in that seat. So that is where I will be ending this episode. If you guys do want to go check out Fallon, he apparently his link is in those comments down below, but you might not want to disturb him right now because he's in the bathroom. But yeah, that is where we will be ending this testing. If you guys do have any other suggestions for, I guess, stuff to test in Scrap Mechanic Survival, just leave them in those comments down below. Anyways, of course, if you guys did like this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel to stay up with Scrap Mechanic Survival and more of my content. But I've never been ready to goodbye, so if you need me and I need to go.